Hi, N.A., Jason William Michener Galbraith, G-A-O-M-G. Just want to go over my Y-DNA results that I just got back. Uh, I did the big Y uh, DNA results on Family Tree DNA, and it does all your Y DNA from your, your biological father to his father and so on to infinity. It goes all the way back to Neanderthal uh, to the y, uh, uh, y chromosome in Adam from Africa. So the Y chromosome, they're able to go back uh, you know, from the beginning. And when I did that, I was looking at my ancestry over the pandemic uh, and I could see that my Michener last name isn't my original surname that it was changed in 1822 and I don't know who I am you know after those dates I don't know why the name was like changed a few times over over history and I didn't know who I am so I was able to do the the Y DNA test and when I got the results, I also, before that, I did the 23andMe uh, test and I did Ancestry.com test. And this was all for my my maternal paternal's last name, which is a famous clan in Scotland, Clan Galbraith. And I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what that name even meant. I didn't even know I was Scottish. Uh, you know, I did a DNA test in the past on who I believe was my biological son, and it came back 90% Spanish and Irish. And I'm definitely not Spanish, and I'm not Irish. I'm uh, all uh, Scottish and English. I, I'm an Anglo-Scot. And then I have a little bit of Welsh in me, and then some from uh, Cornwall, England. And I want to look at those after I'm done with everything with my, my Scottish DNA and my roots. And I go to Scotland. And, you know, if you've been following my story, you can see everything I've posted on uh, Instagram and everything, all of my exact matches. But anyway, when I did the big Y result, there are, and I have all my results that I did for Ancestry.com and for 23, 23 and me. And what I did on those uh, tests are called an auto small uh, DNA test where they do both. You, they do your paternal and your maternal side. So they do your paternal uh, paternal side and they do your paternal maternal and they do your maternal paternal is how I could verify that I'm a Galbraith and all of the father to son lineage uh, goes on forever and I have the paperwork for that and so on and so forth. So when I did the the big Y, I was looking for like pretty much all the same results that I got here on 23andMe. And with 23andMe, I got all the royal uh, Stuart. And I got it all the way to Sir, Sir John Stuart of Bonkiel. And uh, it's right here. It's this S81 uh, marker that you have to have. And when I did my 23andMe, I followed it from M269 all the way to uh, uh, S775 and then L744 and then S781, which is the one that you have to have here for a uh, certain John uh, Stewart of Bonkiel. And I have that. And then it was also verified on Ancestry.com. But then when I did the Y DNA, just my paternal side, not the paternal maternal or my maternal paternal for Galbraith, it only focused on just the father to son to infinity uh, that John Stewart wasn't coming up. And I was getting feedback from all these other like royal stewards. I was getting gaslight by all these uh, other like DNA nerds saying like, oh, you're uh, uh like Sir John Stewart, your Royal Stewart isn't coming up. But I could see it right here on my 23andMe, and I could see my results on Ancestry.com. It's my 22nd great-grandfather. But it's all because I did an auto-small test on 23andMe and Ancestry.com, and my big Y DNA on Family Tree DNA is just my Y DNA only. So it's my father to his father, and so on and so forth. And it wasn't able to track the exact the surnames. I don't know, but it was able to go all the way back to my absolute uh, ancestry from 
just my paternal the paternal and that's all scotland and uk cares about they only look at that and it really is messed up because uh on my you know my maternal side uh on my paternal to maternal my biological father's mother's side uh is way more in depth that i can see like this is my biological father and it stops. It goes from Michener, then it was changed to best and then it just falls off. Where my biological father, my maternal, uh, my paternal maternal side, it keeps going and you can see all the Stuarts. You can see Francis Philip Stuart and then you can see this other dude, McKelvey. And then it goes all the way to Sir John Stuart of Bonkiel. And that's all on my father's mother's side. And then on my mother's father's side is all the Galbraith that can be documented from paper trail and DNA forever. So uh, what we do in the United States that's different than Scotland and the UK is we don't just look at just the paternal lineage forever. So I was getting all gaslighting and everything from DNA nerds from uh, the Stuarts that didn't see all of my uh, royal Stuart. That's on my 23andMe. And on Ancestry.com, because I did the auto small, all they could see is just my uh, paternal results um, from my biological father. And in America, what we do, you know, if you've ever seen the show Finding Your Roots, you can see that they look at the biological father's uh, father and mother, and they look at the uh, biological mother and their father and their mother. So that's exactly what I did with 23andMe and with uh, Ancestry.com is I was able to look at my paternal's uh, mother's side and father's side and my mother's uh, father's side and mother's side. So that's what we do here in the U.S. And if you ever watch this show on PBS, you can see it's really cool all these people that just like me didn't know like julia roberts didn't know that she wasn't a roberts at all i never knew that i wasn't a michener and who i did find out on 100 just on the paternal side just the side that scotland cares about and and the uk cares about is amazing i won the the scottish dna uh you know uh lottery i got everything i could ever imagine and so much more so from my paternal maternal side i have that the uh john stewart uh sir john stewart of bonkiel and it's undisputed this is dna and i'll send my dna to anybody i had to send my dna to galbraith to verify that i am a galbraith on the paternal side goes on forever and then who i found out my number one ancestor is uh, on my Y DNA, on my paternal paternal side that Scotland UK cares about, I send it to them to verify, and I'll uh, drop that on April sixth on Tartan Day, and it's the the biggest one. It's uh, like I won the Scottish DNA lottery, uh, you know, on everything that I got. So I was getting like uh, gaslighted that like this one DNA nerd was looking at it and it's like I don't understand why you think you have s81 i assume that you mean the s81 that you're descended for john stewart of bonkiel and that again she couldn't see it because it was just on family tree dna they only did the y dna but again when you look at my 23 and me that did the auto small test it does both the mother and uh the father is that you can see uh, the exact connection from S775 to L744 right to S781. And it's confirmed on Ancestry.com. And I have my DNA that I will send to University of Strathclyde to anybody that questions my DNA. And uh, after I drop, you know, who my number one uh, Y paternal ancestor is on April 6th, like, that's it. I don't want to hear anybody say anything from DNA nerds about uh, any of my ancestry. It's all here, documented on 23andMe, on Ancestry.com, on Family Tree uh, DNA. I posted it on my Instagram account. You can check all of that out. Uh, 
I mean, my DNA doesn't lie. You can't, you know, manipulate your DNA results. Uh, and again, uh, I sent it to the Galbraiths to confirm everything on my maternal side. And I sent it to uh, my paternal side for the greatest find I've, I've, I could have ever hoped for that blows away any of the, the royal stewards e either, even though I am uh, directly related to the stewards, even on my uh, paternal side, which I'll break down further because it goes down to uh, royalty and to one of his 26 children. And I could have descended from either the, the legitimate children or illegitimate children children that he had he had 26 of them so uh where i went from there i don't know i can only follow the y uh dna but i know conclusively uh where i started from where i come from and the scottish royalty and warrior that i'm descended from so i hope this clears it up again y dna did the family tree dna and that follows all of my biological father's father forever and then 23andMe and Ancestry.com, I did both. I did the auto small where it does both your paternal side and your maternal side. So just like they do on finding your roots uh, here in America, you can watch it and they, they do both sides because why uh, like why not pay attention to your, your mother's side that makes your maternal side it makes up half of you. So both on your paternal side, uh, your mother, your grandmother from your biological father uh, it, it affects all of your DNA as well. And then uh, same with your maternal side. So that's how we do it in the U United States. And it's on finding your roots and uh, clearly on the BBC in, in Scotland and UK. All they care about is your paternal lineage and that side. So even with my great clan Galbraith on my maternal paternal side, they don't care because they're they're saying, well, that's not from your paternal side and it's only from your mother's side. And you can't ever, you know, get like the big titles of like chief or commander or anything like that because it's from your mother's side. Well, now I found out who I am exactly from my biological father's side and wait until I post the jealousy that it strikes from very educated, well-to-do people that have, you know, been uh, like... Uh, pampered their whole lives and told who they are. I mean, I'm talking, these are like earls and viscounts and, and barons and knights uh, and lords and all that type of stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm able to be a part of all of that. And again, I won the Scottish DNA lottery. Uh, it's the best results I could ever have hoped for. It's given me such a peace and everything. And, you know, this stage in my life, uh, that's what I'm I'm trying to uh, strive for, but I can still find uh, if somebody um, says that I'm not steward enough or I'm not Galbraith enough because it comes from my uh, maternal side, uh, I do see I do get triggered still, and there is a lot of fight in the Scottish warrior. And when I drop who my paternal paternal side is, just my Y DNA, it is amazing. And I'm very excited to go to Scotland and bring my 10th book, second trilogy, and this whole story, you know, coming. That'll be my grand finale. So thanks for the support and, you know, following my story for the past like 20 years. I've uh, been through a lot of of stuff that you can see everything that I've done it's all documented you know on the media on YouTube on all social media check out my Instagram account so uh, and check out my books on Amazon and I hate that it, on Amazon it always pushes James A. Michener who's not a Michener as well he was adopted but you can never find you would have to be so specific you have to click on my name it's so tiny but once I drop uh, my who I really come from on my Y DNA from my biological father's side, and after I go to Scotland, if they like me in Scotland, uh, then I'm looking at changing, you know, my surname back to what it originally was, and uh, what it will be. So again, cheers.